Show us your musket! Get it out! This is Synoptic and I'm doing commentary for Empire 2 to War. This game is a TLG vs Sultan match with Bushranger as our player and their player is Chevalu. Bushranger is playing as Sweden, Chevalu is playing as Yordamans on the map Puke Hoover. Okay, so basically both both sides have a lot of line inventory. Bushranger is achieving this by skimping on the long range, whereas Chevalier is achieving this by using relatively low quality units, the Israelis. But coupled with Baelic Genissaries who increase their morale with the Inspire effect ability. Let's also take note of the uh, allocation of the men here. They're both very stretched out. Clearly both sides want to envelop each other with a massive line. First contact is with a long rifle unit. Bush Rangers on Israelis who are hidden, hidden in the woods. All of Chevalier's long rifles are on his left body who appear to be a flanking force, although they're both stretched out so there is no such thing at this point, and all of his heavy cavalry are massed on the right side. So this is a clear attack strategy. So he's holding, he's protecting his left with uh, the long range, so there's no incentive for them to attack it, whereas all his cavalry are on his right, which is going to allow him to use all of them at once in a very, very aggressive attack. We're going to see it right now. But the problem with charging head-on is you're going to get some pretty big line fire. Although CFE are very strong, they're best used against infantry. Bush Rangers quick on the, the squares though. And there was also a counter charge here from one of Bush Rangers' Huckup leaders. He sent those to the rear, which is a very annoying tactic. It works quite well. So they normally don't even see it when you mount your assaults. So with the CFEs, he's forming, forcing boxes and then continuing charges. He's gonna these rifles are going to cover pretty hard. So they're in the middle of a, a line push, who are disrupted by Cav already routing, as they do. So Chevalier's caused squares, as you can see, and he's forced to stay in Bush Ranger, but he's now reinforced this area with heavy cavalry units, two of them. Notice the green dots here. So Bush Ranger's already setting up line inventory to cover the vulnerable area that has now been under attack by CFE. Two of them are routing, by the way. All the while, Hakup leaders are doing repeated charges, recharges on the opponent here. Again, probably not able to see this as it is in the rear. And Israelis versus line inventory aren't that great, particularly in shooting, and even worse in melee. These guys can't fight for anything. With Hakup leader in the rear, uh, Chevalier orders his Janissary Musketeers to the melee here. Probably not the best of ideas as he created a massive mound for all of Bushranger's men to shoot. You can see he's returning into formation now. And there goes one of those lifeless horse, maybe. In this match I'm finding a lot of wavering units but no routing units. We just saw an Israeli wavering just then. Still no route. And the CSP is going for another charge. The opponent is probably annoyed at the fact that his massive attack has not worked yet. Because as you see over there, those rifles really were just to stop or stop any incentive to attack this body here while he put all his effort into the attacking body, which consisted of cavalry. So the issue here is Bush Rangers attacked the attacking force. So he's holding it up, routing a lot of those CFE. Here's another exchange of wavering motions. Going back, going back, need the routing again. And there's that Israel that has to route now, is wavering before the charge. <laughs> oh my god, not routing again. And it's really odd because there's no inspiring units nearby. That Baelic Genesis is all the way over here, he's commencing mild flanking fire on Bush Ranger here. Although there is a massive overlap of infantry on the other side. That Israeli is finally routing, and now there's a lifeguard or horse versus CFE. My money is on the lifeguard of horse. Because those CFE can't really fight. They're mainly anti infantry cavalry. And the problem with routing units is that it's contagious. It'll be a fair bit easier to get other units routing. And this is actually an argument that a lot of people have against uh, the Mage Shield, which Blanc is it, uh, Bush Ranger, is employing in his army. We haven't seen it yet. Both of his militia are on the other side, blocking the long range forces. They think if the militia route, then this will happen, as you can see with the contagious 
effect there, but with uh, line imagery and their stats, they have resistance to morale shock. That just eliminates that factor out. Whereas Israelis don't have that, which is why they're routing. We're now seeing the commencement of Chevalier's attack. See all this long range. They're probably going to form their own contingent force, the way they're moving. So as Chevalier moves his army in, you can see all the heavy cavalry movements of Bush Ranger over here. It will be an attack soon. He has no counter and cavalry as apart, as apart from uh, the general's bodyguard here. So that sustained fire and all that covering fire from the, ca the cavalry. We saw the units reinforcing the area where the CFE is charged. That allowed this army to stay intact. And with the aggressive pushes with the light cav forced one unit to rout eventually and that just caused the main body to. All that's left is the Balik and the Israeli next to it and most likely because of the inspiring factor. So, now so this area is basically over. As we mentioned before, that Chevalier has commenced his assault. So there was an development force of Israelis here. Bushranger charged them, forced a square, and is now going to commence re -envelopment. So what eventually, essentially was an envelopment, he just walked himself into a trap now. And there's a lot of bank a banking up of forces here. We've got militia versus Israelis here. Israelis can't fight, as I mentioned before, but neither can militia, although militia have slightly more defense, and that's the sound coming back. So we have a surplus of men here, he's got to use them. Coming in here, we got uh, all those riflemen. They were a separate contingent force, firing on the enemy. It looked like they were firing down the middle. So maybe Chevalier was going for a splitting tactic. Although these were met by all of the remaining cavalry by a push ranger. And cavalry versus any rifle is going to be pretty bad. We see, a, we see a rifle wavering at 74 out of 80. Although I doubt it will run. Considering all the... Oh, now we have some contagious wavering here. Because of the loss of the general, it appears. Nope, they're not running. So, back here. The, the envelopment, envelopment that we saw caused before, which was set off by the cavalry of Bush Ranger, it's now being quite... Quite contagious. We have a Balik at 100, 100 out of 160. Routing. That's the end of the game there. Okay, so it was a very good game. Both players attacked. We saw some pretty unique tactics with mass cavalry charges on the right, with the defensive forces comprised of a lot of long range to stop the enemy from attacking, as well as defensive capabilities of both players backing up their men, maintaining their line, making sure nothing routes. And we saw the effect of one unit routing, the contagious effect there. As well as the death of the, the general at the very end, we had a Baelic Genissary routing at 100 of 160. That's just playing crazy, considering their morale. So that was a good game. That's not me at the top, that's Bushranger. It's a good game to Bushranger and Sultan Chevalier. Thanks for watching.